Today, we're going to be exploring Munich's hidden beer festival that you've never heard of. Welcome to Stark Beer Fest. I love Bavarian beer festivals. Did you know that? We've all heard of Munich's one and only, the legendary Oktoberfest. But what you probably don't know is that throughout the entire year, Bavaria is alive and well with the sounds of lesser known beer festivals. Right now it's March, which means it's time for the Stark Beer Festival. This is when just a few of the breweries around Munich release a limited run of very dark, rich and high alcohol content beer. And to celebrate, they each put on their own beer festivals. Now this is an absolute treat because I have a surprise. Well, specifically, one of you guys at home has a surprise for me. Some absolutely amazing subscribers out there at home. They have a table over at the Louvenbroi Keller and two extra seats for me and Camille. So that means not only am I gonna be able to show you the original Stark Beer Fest tomorrow at Nockerberg, we're gonna be able to go to Louvenbroi and I love that one. All right, I think we made it to the right place. So how do you get into Stark Beer Fest? Well, sadly, it's a little more complicated and secretive than Oktoberfest, where you can just show up at the festival grounds and see who has room. Stark Beer Fest celebrations are decentralized, hosted by the individual breweries themselves during the period between Carnival and Easter. You'll need to book a table pretty far in advance, as there are no walk-ins, which we did for tomorrow at the original Paulana Nockerberg. For our table tonight, though, some lovely subscribers of ours, Jay and Christina, a big thank you again, by the way, if you're watching, booked a table for 10 here at Louvenbroi. They super kindly invited us along, and lucky for all of us, they also put up with me filming. So now we can show you two parties instead of just one. So leave them a thank you in the comments below. This video would only be half as good without them. All right, now we just need to follow the seating plan and figure out where we're going to go. But I'll tell you what, this is not a bad first impression. I don't know if I've mentioned it on this channel. I love Bavarian beer festivals. Did you know that? So at most beer festivals, the first two or so hours are quite traditional, with live Bavarian folk music performances and a rather family-friendly attitude, if not a somewhat drunken family-friendliness. Think your stereotypical brass band dressed up in Dirndl and Lederhosen, as we've seen so many times on this channel. And it will all last usually through dinner and your first beer. Each table reservation comes with a set menu, but what you get will heavily depend on which brew brewery you go to and what table you booked. So what you get can vary a lot. For tonight, we got two mass of beer each and a Brotzeit teller full of obatsta, bretzen, cheese and radishes. For our entree, they served two giant cast iron skillets of mixed entrees. And I hope it's not just the beer talking, but I thought the food was excellent. I mean, just look at it. But it was all made even that much better by this surprising performance. Already this looks incredible, though I think there might need to be a lot of voiceover in this video, not to ruin the movie magic, but it's loud, and I think they're gonna play some pop music as well, so you won't be able to hear me, but the YouTube demonetization algorithm surely will. Yeah. 
After dinner though, the atmosphere gets very modern. Or at least it would have been modern about 20 years ago. Songs like 99 Luftballons, Don't Stop Believing, and of course Hula Palu are absolute beer fest staples that I've heard in every tent I've ever drank in, including this one. And now that the food is gone, with the tables mostly clear, everyone stands up on their chairs, benches, and tables to dance as the beer continues to flow, at least for as long as you can handle it. Stark beer hits hard after all. It's dangerous stuff, right Camille? This probably goes without saying, but Bavarian beer festivals are the best. I mean, they are so much fun. I am incredibly tired. It's incredibly late. And unfortunately, tomorrow we didn't snag an evening spot, for better or worse. We snagged a lunch spot. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna sleep for a few hours. I'm gonna go drink again. Welcome to Bavaria. Good morning, everybody. I hope you slept well. I didn't particularly, and I must admit I'm feeling a little bit rough. But that doesn't matter now, because here we are at Paulana for the original Nackerberg Stark Beer Fest. The line is already starting to form. We need to go get our entrance tickets and wristbands and our drink tokens. So let's start round two, and I am so excited. Ah, I've been waiting for this for months. Let's get inside. Unlike last night's wonderful invite to a table at Luvenbroi, we're funding this table at Paulana ourselves. So let's talk financials. Camille booked a reserved spot for 10, which is the smallest you can do, way back in January for 140 euros. It's a little bit of a commitment, but it's the only way to experience Stark Beer Fest. Our table also included in the reservation a single mass of Stark Beer per guest, 10 liters in total, but that was it. No broadside, entree, or second beer were included like what we had last night, making Paulana a little bit more expensive. They do have a complete menu though, so get whatever you fancy, and naturally you can order as much beer as you can handle, but you'll just need a ton of cash. Alright, we've made it! I gotta say, the ambiance here is completely different than last night. It's honestly a bit more modern, which was really surprising. But the beer looks good, the party's getting started. I still feel a bit rough from last night, but there's one way to fix that. More stock beer. Besides being a wonderful excuse to get together with all your friends and have some drinks, why do the people of Munich celebrate Stark Beer Fest? Well, historically, beer in Bavaria was originally brewed by monks, hence why there are so many monastic brewery day trips on this channel. Like the legendary Weltenburg Abbey or Kloster Andex, some of my most favorite day trips. Which if you haven't checked out those videos already, then you definitely should after this one of course. The city name Munich itself actually translates to home of the monks, and as we've learned, wherever there are monks, there'll be a brewery. So beer and Munich not only go hand in hand, but their relationship is older than the city walls themselves. In 1629, the Paulana monks sought to creatively circumvent the difficulties of fasting during Lent by creating a liquid meal replacement, a flusigus brot. So even though the name Stark beer, strong beer feels like it's referring to the high alcohol content, usually around 8% or twice that of a typical Bavarian beer, Stark beer actually refers to the high percentage of wort in the beer, giving it a very sweet, rich, heavy, and malty taste. Roughly 709 calories per litre. This new Paulana brew was dubbed Salvatore, and the name stuck 
kicking off a really fun tradition of cool stock beer names, with a unique name for each brewery, like Triumphator by Luvenbroi, even the modern Aviator by Airbroi at the airport. Eventually though, after just over a century of secrecy, in 1751, the general public around Munich cottoned on to this divine creation, celebration ensued, and so today's tradition of Stark Bierfest was born. And the rest, as they say, was history. I think at this point, guys, the, uh, the goose is cooked. That beer is incredibly strong. And I need to go home and take a nap. I do have work tomorrow after all. So I think I'm glad that we went with the lunch pop because I really think I'm gonna need some time to recover from this one. But I hope you have enjoyed watching it half as much as I've enjoyed making it. This has been a fantastic weekend. Stark Beer Fest is, of course, incredible. How could it not be? Good beer, good food, good friends, amazing ambiance. It has been so much fun. And if you haven't gone, you definitely need to go next year, that's for sure. So thank you all so very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to keep this channel going. And if you're looking for something else to watch, well, I have an entire Bavarian Beer Fest playlist. So I'd recommend you check out any videos on there if you haven't already. We've got Almabtrieb's cow beer festivals out in the mountains, and perhaps my favorite, Oktoberfest without the tourists. It's a great video. If you haven't seen it and you've loved this one, I know you'll love that one. Thank you all again so much, and I'll see you in the next video, wherever that might be.